Now, I, I have a question slash favor. It's totally optional. You can decline it, Laverne. But um, I've been working and helping people get approved since 2006. And one of the areas um, where we have a real challenge, and it's not just me, is veterans. Even veterans rated at 100%. They're difficult uh, to get approved, um, let alone civilians now getting approved. So I, I was wondering if you have any words of advice that you would allow me to share with others out there that maybe will give them some optimism or relieve some of their stress. Because frankly, I've seen a lot of that's just bail. Just like, right? So... Well, can I well, answer some of that real quick? Sure. Well, of course. <laughs> I, in, in, Nick is a very tenacious type guy. It's just who he is as far as this is what they need. I'm going to find it. I'm going to research it. I'm going to get it. One of the biggest things that I've seen in the 33 years that I've been with Nick in dealing with <laughs> veterans particularly veterans who have gotten out of the service, whether they've done 10 years or they've done 20 plus, is the uh, bureaucratic needing to dig through everything under the sun. Because most of them don't have the documents. Most of them were taught to be the tough guy or girl. They don't go to doctors. Those tend to be their problems, which is why they... If they come to you, you give them a list of 10,000 things they need to get done. To find those papers, just to find the paperwork alone becomes too much of a problem to do it because they run into so much resistance to get the answers or to be able to get the documents or for the doctors to even hear them. I see that as being a huge reason that a lot of people fall off is just because it's so much to do. Interesting. And they don't have the guidance to, you know, direct them. Well, you got to go here and you got to do this and you got to do that. Right, right. If they don't search out the information, they don't, it doesn't get done. Nick did a lot of searching, finding out how do I do this. Most individuals don't do that. Well, they get discouraged. And that's what it is. It's discouraged because he, there's not like a paper that or a book or something that you get to say, hey, this is what you need to do. Mm -hmm. You literally have to go and find the information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This information is not easy to get. Right. I mean, I know it's out there and, and whatever, but it's not, it's not very directed right. for people, if that makes more sense. Well, I, I mean... I agree with you, Constance. I appreciate what you're sharing. If it was easy to find and easy to do, Carl and I would be doing something else for work and be glad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Carl, but I'd be fine doing something else. <laughs> but I, I thank you for sharing that. And I think you, uh, I couldn't agree with you more in that you're, you have a complicated process uh, and I, I might be stepping out and, you know, uh, saying this, but dealing with Social Security is complicated. And then you have to uh, get and extract information from the VA uh, adds a different level of complexity to it. So, yeah. Nick, was there something that you were going to share? Yeah, I, I, I think that the, the system is, and, and Constance is exactly right. The system is, I think the system is designed, not intentionally, but it's, it's not designed for them to fail, but it's, it's, it's made and it's, it exists in such a way that there's so many different possibilities for them to fail. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you I talked to different people to try to get to where I needed to get to, to get the help I needed. And from the different service organizations to 
the different doctors I needed to talk to in the VA and several on the outside. And just in general, dealing with, I had to learn how to deal with the, the doctors in the VA because they're in a very unique position that I would call, um, well, they can be in somewhat of a conflict of interest position because they are working for the government and they're documenting things a certain way and if you don't persist and explain and try to work with them to get things documented, documented the way it needs to be documented, then you're going to find yourself spinning your wheels and you're going to find a more difficult time to get to where you need to get to because of their conflict of interest. Exactly. Yeah. That, I mean, both of you have brought up excellent points, but the challenge is the medical records with the VA and how they record yeah. the limitations. It's a two-part. Like, like Constance said, uh, you know, you're taught to play hurt, so you don't report, right, as detailed as you should. And then they're going into a system that you said, Nick, is not, they're not recording uh, properly. So that's what, that's exactly what needs to be overcome. And, and let me, let me throw something else in. I go to every single one of Nick's doctor's appointments. Good. To make sure that they are understanding what he's dealing with. Mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there's been many a times that I just sit and I listen and I don't say anything just to see what's going to happen or how the situation is going to play out. And I find that they hear them, but they don't listen to them. Interesting. Is it like they can't and be bothered? It's very frustrating because when, when Nick has been at that point, I throw the, you know, the beat flag and I go that's it we're going to see the outside PCP yeah yeah you know most guys don't or girls don't have somebody there to help advocate for them and they're mm -hmm. trying to do all this social security stuff or even trying to get their own disability through the VA and they're trying to do this all well they don't feel well all well mm -hmm. they have mental um, uh, they're dealing with some mental challenges, whether that be PTSD or just severe depression or anxiety or whatever it is. So mm -hmm. there's no mm -hmm. guidance when they're in that situation because, hell, no. hell, we catch a cold and we don't feel like getting up and making a cup of coffee. Can you imagine having to sit down every day when you can, you're in pain to walk and you have to sit and dig out documents? It's just, it just makes okay. it extremely difficult. Yeah. This is a, this is a, just a great contribution. I am thankful for both of you for uh, helping us make a difference or attempt to make a difference out there, getting this, this word out there. So I, I appreciate that. Um, hey guys, we really do appreciate all the work that, that you've done. And, and, you know, Nick and I have talked numerous times on if it hadn't been for you guys being able to help him, we would definitely be in a different situation. Yeah. Well, thank we you. Really I, I, am, I am blessed to have Carl here. She does an amazing job. Um, thank so, you. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> thank thanks, you, Ms. Carl. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. All right. Be well. Until the next time. <laughs>